All right, let's battle. Definitely like seeing this. Oh my god. <laughs> that card's good, right? Uh, let's see, are we passing really any black either? No. <laughs> I'm definitely okay with opening the Grave Titan first pack. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, maybe table that. I don't know. We're probably going to table the Rotting Legion or the Stabbing Pain. But yeah, Grave Titan. <laughs> so we're black. Uh, then there's this pack. I guess we could go black blue with the Mana Leak. Passing missing out on a Child Knight is not that um, exciting. Mana Leak is pretty good. Plus, I just kind of want some for constructive purposes. Uh, we maybe take a Berserker. I think we, if we really want to pick up some Berserkers, we can get them. We may even table the Mana Leak or the uh, Child Knight. But the problem is, if we go blue, wouldn't this just be better? Mm, probably not. I don't think so. I don't know all the picks or the pick orders, so I'm just doing my own evaluation of things. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to take the Mana Leak here. Ooh, two Grave Titans. That's good. <laughs> uh, black Knight's pretty good. I don't think I'm going to pass up on that. I think I just want to cut as much black as I can. And Black Knight is really good. Uh, I, don't, I really don't mind passing anything other than black, as long as my person to the left is not black, you know? So I definitely want to be in black. Uh, maybe table the nether horror. This card's really actually good. But I'm going to want to cut black, because I want to be in black. I will force it all day for that card. Armor Ascension. I guess that's fine. Two pass. We have a cancel and a night wing shade. Which is an okay card. Which we'll probably take. Uh, we're reassembling skeleton. I really don't know which of those is better. I suppose this is an earlier drop than that. Uh, this might get us to a late game to our Grave Titan. Not really sure. Flying wins game, so I'm just going to take the card I know is okay. And there's an assassinate. Watery Servant's also in there. He's pretty good. Salt Griffin. But we're not going to miss out on this assassinate. We haven't really passed any black. We'll take a death mark. Um, at all. Except maybe some Nether Shadows or, or Nether Horrors and a Child of Night. Maybe an Unholy Strength too. And we passed. Some decent other cards, so Death Mark's very solid. And look, there's a Child of Night and another Mana Leak. Once again, I'm going to take the uh, Mana Leak over the Child of Night. Might as well. Yeah, I, I just don't think I'm going to be taking those cards. Uh, we got Bog Raiders. Well, the Minish is actually uh, probably a little better in our Splash Blue than uh, Bog Raiders. And the Stabbing Pain for the sideboard. Deathmark main deck is kind of risky, but a lot of people play green. A lot of people also play white, but if you run into the Black Blue deck, like I'm playing, uh, not so great, or green, black, or, you know, well, you know what I'm trying to say. You run into one of the other three colors, and they're, like, let's say they're red, splashing red, and they're blue, black. Then it's pretty bad, but, you know, cutting black pretty heavily, so we may main deck it.
Let's open up another. Let's be super greedy. <laughs> Okay, um, I guess a foil Lee Vanguard. I think we can uh, deal with a 4 4. Hopefully. Anyway. Especially if they have to attack each turn. Uh, yeah, we'll just take a Ryan Legion. Sure, we'll take another holy strength just to like we probably won't play it, but very late to some doing. Oh, swamp box open. <laughs> so, we I think we did a fairly decent job of cutting the black, and hopefully, we'll be rewarded this pack. Let's open Vampire Nighthawk. Oh, wait, <laughs> uh, birds. Is our rare. Nothing too exciting here. Yeah, that's definitely not exciting. Uh, he's a big dude, but I guess we take the axe here, but eh, it's not even that exciting. We could take a, a 3 2, but that's not even that exciting for our first pick. I guess we could take the Expanse. Ugh. I guess it thins us, and if we want to splash for red or something, that's fine. As of right now, we don't really have that many creatures, though. <laughs> I'm fine with taking the Expanse here. Uh, missing out on Warlord's Axe. Isn't that big of a deal to me, I don't think. We're not that aggressive deck, and we don't really have the, uh, the little dudes. Ooh, Howling Banshee. I will definitely take a Howling Banshee. Ooh, a Gravedigger. Dang it. Uh. Hmm. Gravedigger gets so much better in multiples. And it's just so much more card advantage. Probably is better than Heli Banshee, but that card is just so good. Man. Giant Spider does stop a Howling Banshee, though, that's for sure. <laughs> I think card advantage is probably just slightly better than a Howling Banshee. And who knows, maybe it'll table. <laughs> it's double black. We'll take the Grave Digger. That may be okay. Um, but when you have Grave Titan, Diabolic Tutor seems pretty good, right? Although this is removal. Yeah. This way I have the one thing to search for. I'd rather have a removal spell, since we're pretty much mono black. Ooh, sign and blood. Since we just took that, I would definitely take the uh, sign and blood over the uh, clog sickness. Ooh, Grave Digger. I don't even know what this does. Wow. Huh. Seems very interesting. Oh, yes. We will take a Grave Digger. I love me some Grave Diggers. Trisian, Ice Cage. We could take the Ice Cage here, but really I just want more dudes. Block their big four guy and Grave Digger back and Disentomb it back. Just getting 
as much value out of things as I can. Active trees in two of them. I don't want to see that, right? Question is, do I want three two or four two? We already have a lot of four drops, but eh, I think we'll. Wow, that's a late black knight. But I will take it for sure. 